Let's Shame. get to the down on the farm Shame. report today. Uh, and then we'll run through a couple MLB happenings and then we'll do guess that stance and positive thought of the this. day. All right. Today on the down on the farm report, we're going to prospect number 24. And again, if you missed yesterday's show, uh, this is by no means the official uh, rankings. Uh, we're using a combination of fan graphs, baseball, America, baseball prospectus, MLB.com, and our own brains here at the PHLY offices and constructing, uh, what we think is going to be roughly the top 25, uh, the official baseball America rankings come out, I think over the next like three weeks, it's the time of the year, you know, the downtime in baseball where the ranking out, uh, prospect lists come out. So the number four today was a draft pick just last year. His name is George Clausen. To me, it sounds like a pickle man. Doesn't sound like a baseball player. Uh, I'm going to say name test alone, Renee. Doesn't pass the name test for me. It sounds like an actor, like George Clooney. Uh, Tyler said author. I could also yeah, see like that. Yeah, I get something New York more Times literary. Best novel from George Clausen. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like a really good Seriously, author. Seriously, starring uh, George Clausen. Or this, <laughs> this movie starring George Clausen. So I, I wish you all the best, but you don't sound like a baseball player. Uh, but he was drafted last year out of the University of Minnesota in the sixth round, pick 193 <laughs> overall. Uh, six foot two, 170 pounds. That, in my D head, is a, like me. is a bean pole. <laughs> A beanpole that throws really hard. Uh, yeah, I don't throw a 98. Yeah, 170 pounds just feels like you got to be, you know, eating some more pickles there, Clausen. Uh, but University of Minnesota, four-year player. Uh, he wowed scouts. And Ty Tyler, I know you're streaming these games. In the Northwood League in Minnesota, uh, in the offseason of the University of Minnesota, where he was regularly breaking the 100-mile-an-hour barrier, uh, his velocity can get over 100 miles an hour. Um, back to his college days in 2022, he had a bullpen stint where he walked a quarter of the batters he faced. He took a step forward in 2023 uh, with working on his strike throwing. He tried ref refining that, but he posted a 5.72 ERA in 56.2 innings with an 18.6% strikeout rate and a 17.9% walk rate. So that's not great. Here's here's the picture that I've gotten from everything I read about George Clausen and watching the All videos. All gas, no breaks so with this draft. George Clausen, and you you skip over some of the great stuff. Like, like he was born in Port Washington, Wisconsin. He was a high school All American. Coming out of high school, he was, he was the actually ranked one the number two one pitcher out of and Wisconsin. number over number two overall. In Wisconsin, Here's the thing he was about also Wisconsin. ranked number 23. They don't the right produce a lot of baseball was, players, to my knowledge. He was ranked the number 23 pitcher in the country. It's cold um, and, there. and number 77 overall player nationally coming out of high school. Had high projections, then gets into college, had to undergo Tommy John surgery in his freshman year, and had to redshirt. So he's Henry Never essentially was really the same because he had to change his, his throw from there. And his pitching coach in college, the Gophers pitching coach, uh -huh. Ty McDevitt, had a great quote that I think fits him really well from what I've seen from the footage and film I watched, that George was just someone that he listed as a player that needed development. Yeah. And he said An ability that to throw he's strikes. one of the most underdeveloped prospects we've had. He's a freak athlete, a world-class competitor, has a quick or quicker arm than guys like some of their former players. But even though, you know, he's got a lot of impressive stuff, but just underdeveloped. And that never changed, though, because even through the remainder of his college career, as you were talking about his numbers, George really never took that next step. He had always had a great arm speed, as you mentioned, um, averaged 98 as a starter, but was up to 102 at times. And coming into the draft as a sixth round pick, sixth round pick, guys, uh, he never really was able to show anything else. So I think for George Klassen, it's been injuries, the injuries of, of needing a Tommy John surgery sh shortened his um, growth he had. And then he's he also just never was able to get control on his pitch. And so his Caleb delivery Cotham, has been so inconsistent. And that's a problem. So George Clausen, guys, that is George Clausen. Neil Denver says uh, give him some Wisconsin. glasses like a uh, wild thing. <laughs> yeah, sure. Look, you know, you always take a shot on a guy that can throw 102. Uh, he averaged this past spring, his average uh, fastball was 97 miles an hour, yeah. got up as high as 102. Uh, the problem with that is he only threw the fastball for a strike 60% of the time. Yeah. 
Now, the scouts believe because of this control issue, he is a bullpen piece for the Phillies. He's projected because it's nasty, uh, you know, maybe a back end of the bullpen type mm-hmm. of guy that can throw 102 miles an hour. But you can't, you have to throw your strike better than 60% of the time. Yeah. 18% strikeout rate is great, but when you're walking people at the same rate, yeah. what's the 18% point? Walk rate um, on so top he of has that. a breaking ball in the mid 80s. Uh, with average shape when he doesn't hang them. This is the scouts reports when he doesn't hang them over the plate. Um, he has a hot, a solid cutter in the high eighties. He's projected as a reliever only prospect because of control issues. Uh, but his velocity leaves scouts impressed with his upside. Yeah. And other sure, reports throwing, are hard, saying, throwing hard is cool. And that's the thing. Other but reports if you can't are throw saying for his range of outcomes is enormous as there's elite stuff that could be impactful as a starter or reliever, but he also might not make it to double a, like he has such a wide range of directions that his career can go because his fastball is great, but his control and his strikes are a major concern. The walk rates, there's a lot of concerns. And he's 21, he's young, but he still has never... It seems like everybody has had the same report on him, but nobody's been able to fix it, which to me means it might not be fixable. Yeah, I would uh, I would get into the, the family pickle fortune. Um, no, I'm just kidding. I hope oh, the kid so works mean. out. I, 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 the pickles. Sixty percent. If you're throwing your best pitch is your fastball, you're only throwing it sixty percent of the time. I, unless there's yeah. a massive change here, like <sighs> he is all gas, no breaks. Like yeah. you're gonna live and die by that. You gotta. He's got to figure something out here. You know, obviously, still a ton of time. He's only twenty one. Uh, so over the next three years in the Philly system, and this is when people talk about player development, like. I mean, drafts, all sports drafts yeah. are hard. Yeah. It's it's almost impossible to project some people. But, uh, you know, player development, this is where, you know, you can harness a guy like this and hopefully turn him into that bullpen piece of a future, maybe with Orion. Um, so we'll see. Well, the uh, other part of that is this is a classic case of a guy that in high school was throwing fastballs that were around 95, and people were saying, they were saying he was throwing them so hard his catchers couldn't even catch it. And that he struggled in the high school game because his fastballs were too good. And then I, I get the vibe of high school American, very good two sport athlete since he also ran track and field, and was just kind of like put on a pedestal. But never, they never took time to develop anything else because he was able to in high school be dominant with his fastball. And you just never saw him get developed. That's that happened so much in youth sports. It's a shame. But here we are at 21 years old, and he's not able to be a piece that can Rick Sachs says, sounds contract. like a great piece in the Mike Trout deal. Yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. Like when you can throw 102, somebody's always going to want to take a shot. Yeah, on you. 